Welcome to the simulation section of our voting machine lab. This is the voting machine code that we just wrote. To implement the finite state machine, let us go ahead and check if this is working fine. We'll create a new source, a VHDL test bench. Let us call this voting machine TB. next next and finish this welcomes us with the usual test bench screen here in today's lab we need all the clocks as we are using a clocked process so we let all the clocks be but we go ahead and change the time duration from 10 nanoseconds to 5 nanoseconds so this is the clock period that we can define in the test bench. With 10 nanoseconds, every clock pulse will last for 10 nanoseconds, whereas with 5 nanoseconds, any clock pulse will last for 5 nanoseconds. That is, the distance between two positive edges would be 5 nanoseconds. So let us go ahead and give inputs to our system. The first step would be to go ahead and click on simulation here and then keep on inserting inputs initially let us give all the party states as zero Then let us go ahead and make party 1 as 1. But before this, before initializing anything, it is important to reset our systems. We will put reset as 1, then wait for 10 nanoseconds and then put reset as 0. This lines of code will reset our system. Now we have made party 1 as 1. We will wait for 10 nanoseconds. This time is variable. Currently I am taking 10 nanoseconds for convenience. Then since party 1 would be a push button, once it has gone up to VCC that is a digital 1, it must also come back to ground that is digital 0 then we again wait for 10 nanoseconds then we take the select party signal and make it high wait for 10 nanoseconds this wait is as the push button requires a certain amount of time to register the push that time is being simulated by a wait for 10 nanoseconds delay. Now since this is a push button as it was high it must also go low then we will wait for 10 nanoseconds again. Once this is done we can actually repeat the same process over and over again Currently, I'll copy this piece of code and paste it two times. This would mean that party 1 should ideally get three votes as of now. Then, party 2 should get a vote. then probably party 3 should also get a vote now here the sequence is such that we take a party signal 
पार्टी वन पार्टी टू और पार्टी थ्री वी मेक इट हाई देन वेट फॉर सम टाइम देन वी मेक इट लो अगेन वेट फॉर सम टाइम देन वी क्लिक ऑन द बटन सिलेक्ट पार्टी वेट फॉर सम टाइम देन रिलीज द बटन विच वुड मेक इट जीरो अगेन एंड अगेन वेट फॉर सम टाइम सो दिस प्रोसेस ऑफ टेकिंग द पार्टी फ्रॉम हाई टू सिलेक्ट पार्टी लो इज जस्ट वन वोट साइकिल सो द यूजर फर्स्ट प्रेसिस द पार्टी वन बटन एंड देन प्रेसिस द बटन सिलेक्ट पार्टी दैट इज बींग सिम्युलेटेड हियर यूजिंग दिस फाइव लाइन्स और सेवन लाइन्स ऑफ कोड सो करंटली Let us go ahead and check syntax. We'll save it, obviously. Then let us go ahead and simulate our behavioral model. so as expected we can see that count one output which is the output of party 1 is 00011 which means a uh, 3 in decimal party 1 has just one vote party 2 has just one vote party 3 also has just one vote let us zoom out of this here we can see that party initially reset was high then party 1 was given a pulse after which select party was given a pulse party 1 was again given a pulse select party was again given a pulse so this simulates the button press of party 1 and select party party 1 select party party 1 select party so after we do the select party our count is incrementing as we can clearly see over here finally party 2 and select party party 3 and select party so their corresponding counts are also 1 1 these counts are incrementing on every rising edge of the clock so as expected we have the output also it is important to note that in the implementations part in the fsm we did in the lab part of voting machine the ofl did not have the conditional statement if select party is one so these statements must be added separately while doing the lab otherwise the results would be erroneous so the only change in the code would be that in the states of party 1 party 2 and party 3 when the count is being incremented it must be done within a if statement rather than being done explicitly so we write a if statement same as in the nsl part and increment the count in all the three states that's it from the voting machine point of view thus we have seen how to implement a basic voting machine using fpga in the hdl programming language and simulated and verified the results thank you